Aloha, everybody. Welcome to part nine, the final part of Sonic's playthrough. Well, if it isn't my pal, Sonic, I'm surprised you made it this far. Alrighty, it's time for the Egg Viper. Yeah, the Egg Viper. So this is the final boss, and uh, he's got a very uh, catchy quote. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Get a load of this! The one thing you're gonna find about Doctor Eggman boss fights in almost all of the 3D games, and I mean all of them. He tends to have a very awesome quote that uh, he will repeat over and over and over again, and most people will repeat ad nauseum till the end of time. <laughs> when he got out of the cockpit there, he said, See if you can make it through here, Sonic! And uh, then you're supposed to hit him in the face. I let the quote happen too long because I wanted to get a voice clip of it, but uh, he managed to get away way too quickly. That death was totally my fault, but you know... If I was playing this game normally, that never would have happened. So let's do this properly, let's take out the Egg Viper. Much like King K. Rool in the Donkey Kong Country series, or most Donkey Kong Country bosses, period, uh, the Egg Viper is not a one-note pony that does the same thing the entire boss fight. Every time you drain a couple bits of health off of the Egg Viper, Eggman resorts to doing a new tactic, you know? He first started off go just popping out of the cockpit and letting you hit him, but this time around, now you have to homing attack the actual Viper part and get to Eggman, you know, through homing attacks. And constantly the whole thing just keeps updating and updating and updating with new moves, new attacks. And it always keeps uh, new players on their toes, you know, you never know what Eggman's gonna do next. The one thing I will say is that every time you hit him, he generally does the GET A LOAD OF THIS! Then he starts shooting lasers at you. Outrunning him is easy to do, as long as you keep running, <laughs> but, uh, and then he usually shoots a gigantic laser at you after all that, and after the laser he pops out of his cockpit to haunt Sonic to see if he can hit him. Why is Eggman doing this? I don't know. Stupid villain cliches. If he kept in the cockpit, he'd probably be safe and sound. <laughs> That laser is kind of easy to dodge. It does home in on you uh, for the most part, so when the Egg Viper is getting close to you from that angle, uh, generally just stay in one direction and then move to the other as soon as he's about to hit you, you know? Oh, Eggman and his repeatable quotes. <laughs> Get a load of this! For this part, he shoots one of his spike things at you, and you just jump, and then you hit Eggman from there. Booyah. The Egg Viper is one of my favorite uh, boss fights in the game, because it's always... Uh, I just love the music, I love his whole quote thing, and I love just everything about it, how it gradually changes its pattern, and it's, it's one of my favorite boss fights in the game. It's also one of the few challenging boss fights in the game. <laughs> I got nothing against Sonic Adventure, it's a fun game as hell, but you know, it is a pretty easy game, and a lot of the bosses are cakewalks that you don't really have to think too much about to defeat them. The Egg Viper is at least a little... It, it, it's at least a challenge, you know. Watch out! He's up to something! That he is! His final attack, he tries ramming the Egg Viper into you, and if he connects on the same platform that you're on, you will fall to your death, and you will have to restart the entire boss fight over again. It's a bit of a dick move, but hey, <laughs> it's his last resort attack, so I don't blame the guy. 
And despite being in the biggest fucking explosion in the world, Dr. Eggman managed to survive. And now he's retreating to live another day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Sonic playthrough of Sonic Adventure. We did it. We finished it with Sonic. So, uh, thanks for joining us. But we still have five other characters to tackle. We still have the rest of the story to unfold. Because after all, what was with the vision at the Lost World? Who was that girl? What in the hell is going on with the other characters? There's a lot of unanswered questions, isn't there? Well, we'll be finding out a lot of those unanswered questions uh, in the other playthroughs. And uh, we're going to go into the next playthrough, uh, Tales playthrough, after this one. Um, but now I'm going to leave this video off because we're done Sonic's playthrough. And his end credits sequence has his theme song. Every character has their theme song at the end of their storylines. And every character has a theme song with vocals. And it's awesome. And... Uh, these songs are a part of Sonic, and I think it would it would be travesty to talk over it, so I'm going to let it play for itself so that new Sonic fans who've never seen the modern games can get a feel for it. But uh, basically, uh, yeah, this is Sonic's theme song. His theme song is called It Doesn't Matter, and it's performed by a guy called Tony Harnell. So uh, enjoy, and I'll see you in the Tales playthrough. <laughs>